Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be starting our new series. So this series will be mainly me coding live um, about some projects for me to learn and for you to watch, I guess. So today our project is going to be about Django. So we should, uh, to start, let me make a directory, cd, cd, testing project cd desktop as well person project and then uh, mkdr uh, django blog cd django uh, cd django goddamn django blog yep um, and first of all I need to set up a virtual environment for Python, Python uh, V V and V, I think it's called creating virtual environment for Python. I think you do it with pip or something like that. Creating virtual environments. Okay, uh, Python three slash m. Python three. Yeah, Python three slash m. Uh, v E N V to dot slash V E N V. I think this is how it's called. Okay. Code dot. Uh, let's hope that this works. V E N V. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. So now I can do. I think I can do source source v uh, v e n v bin activate um yeah i think it's like that yep now control t you can do the same thing over here source v and v desktop uh, person project django god damn it Block that block source v and v uh, bin activate okay uh pip three freeze no uh is it what pip three okay so I'm thinking just let's let me open the Django documentation because docs are the getting started because I forgot how do you initialize the whole thing quick and strong guide set up that uh, import no wait uh, how do you install Django from Pip install Django, I think. Yeah, this should install Django. Mm -hmm. Django, I think it's like it's called Django admin. This amazing guy has to get some initial setup, and you need to generate some code, start a Django project. And follow Django admin start project my site. Okay, uh, pip3, pip3, I think it's called, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Ja uh, I think it's like Django admin. Admin. Start project. Uh, block, I think this. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is like a blog. And then a blog should be started over here. Okay, after that I, I need to cd inside the blog and uh, python3, python3 manage run server. Let's hope this works. Okay, congratulations, we have stuff we have in, in installed python. We have installed Django. So, so this will be basically a uh, 
Let's make a box with some basic aspects. Uh, got basic, basic, yeah, uh, log using Django. Django, yep. Got. Now I'm recording. Okay, uh, let's, okay, I, I, I think I'm recording. Anyway, screw it, just let's move this, let's move this shit over here. Okay, <laughs> okay now, um, how will this work? I'm gonna have, what applications am I gonna need? I'm gonna probably need users, users. But this is already in uh, pre-installed in Django. I'm gonna need. Um, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need an app for posts and every post is gonna have a. So post is gonna have a, a model post, which is gonna have. Title um, Title Body Body and it's gonna have like a user of some sort. Okay, and then ooh, and then a user which is gonna basically create a user and it's gonna come like excuse me, it's gonna associate the user ID with this guy. Uh, yeah, I guess it's like that. Okay, Python 3. I should put this over here. Okay, um, let's see. What's the, uh, what's the game plan over here? DDB SQLite. Uh, I would not like to use SQLite now. How, how do I use uh, Postgres? Uh, Postgres. Postgres SQL with uh, Django, Django app. How to use Postgres SQL with Django? Postgres check, check automatically. Uh, yeah, check automatically. Okay, the server is running. Uh, launchpad. I'm gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need. Where's my Postgres thing? Um. God. Uh. I. Uh, PG admin. So anyways, I doubt people are watching this, so how's everyone's day good doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Well, we, we are currently in 2020 with the, with the coronavirus, which is on fire right now. And so we're currently in quarantine, let's see. Enter the master password. Okay. Now, um, DB server, database. I'm gonna create a new a new a new database. Yeah, with me as the owner. It's gonna be a blog blog underscore db common definition skills as parameters. SQL SQL. Yeah, I guess save. Okay. Yep. Okay, so um, hmm, how about I set up? I think I must do some setting up in the settings. I guess DB SQLite. I'm gonna simply delete that because I do not need that. Uh, now Django, huh? Django, how do you create an app? 
Okay, start, start that. Uh, Django. No, wait. Python. We man manage the. But Python. Manage. Okay, why? Why is it in there? Let's uh, see the bug. Okay. Python manage of UI startup uh, startup of posts okay startup of posts I'm gonna make uh, URLs but why do I need the URLs okay uh, screw it just how about uh, urls.py Eat all of these so uh so my previous knowledge of Django I just took one simple course by Brad Traversy which is like the basics of Django which I which I really, really recommend a lot it it's really good um yeah so this is my only knowledge of Django I used to now uh, it's gonna be import that um you know what just let me have it over be over here Post, uh, I think it's like uh, Django something. If I if I import this, it, apart from the admin, apart from all of this, it's gonna be path, uh, path, which would be uh, that. What's the syntax again? Import from dot views, uh, views, import dot views. Import like it's none, it's gonna be yeah, it's, it's none, then I'm gonna simply run use.index. And I need to set up the templates also. Uh, templates. Okay, uh, it's gonna run views. Dot, it's gonna run this views.index, which and then we we'll come here, it's gonna check for index, define index request, um, request return, return uh, HTTP, you know, like return, and how do you say like uh, HTTP response, I think it's called, uh, HTTP response. Okay, such so the response. Uh, this is working, and so how? So I, sh I should import. No wait. Uh, first of all, I should I should add the application to my. It should should be something like um, posts dot apps dot 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 post config. Post config, post .app .post config. Hmm. Then path this that's gonna be like from uh, how was it? Yeah, basically it's something similar to this. Include, let me put this at the top. Uh, from where is the include? Include is also from URLs. Include polls.urls. So if I refresh this, okay, why, why, why isn't this working? This back line nine to six picks it up that what is this talking about? Import line GCD line seven in module path 
Compute polls. Okay. Ah, uh, yep. There's no such thing as polls. I forgot. Um, it's posts. Okay. Uh, hopefully this will be another another error. No name and polls. Well, Python three manage. Log settings. Okay. So uh, we have this working, which is really good. Now I wanna I want to connect Postgres. How to connect Postgres? Man? Uh, how to connect Postgres SQL with Django? Uh, give me yeah yeah I, I was in this post. Getting started creating virtual environments on Django begin okay. Installing Django. Consider to ask SQL right. But that needs to be up, up, updated. So I need to. Yes, let me copy this. Um, host. I think host it should. Okay. So if I do, if I go over here, okay, with the power of, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pause, uh, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna fill the details. And we'll be right back. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Camera working. Okay, we're back. So I set up the database and I made some migrations, based, which are the basic Django stuff that Django comes with. And so now we can get the real work started. So uh, first of all, I would like to make the models. Um, right now, it's, it's I, think it's, I think it's like class class uh, post this is post yeah which will take models dot model yeah and then uh, let's check out the documentation um, how do you make models over here no 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 I want to find the models part of the tutorial no through all of these um Create table, create table polls. No, no, uh, you see something before, no, like, uh, uh, it's not supposed to be like this, like we're supposed to make an, uh, uh, an ORM, I think. Yeah, models or models, that was published recently. No, but what's the actual thing, like the, uh, where do you create the models? God damn it. Uh, Django, uh, create models. How to create Django models 2018? I wouldn't look at that. Models Django. Yeah, yeah, over here. So, as I, um, as I planned out really well, my post is gonna have title, body, and a user. So title equal oh, uh, title equal models dot char field of I think it's like max length or something like that. Char field max length max length equal screw it like one hundred equal one hundred. Then body, I, is it body? Body, yep, body. Body equal models dot ch, uh, char field max length, max length. Okay, max length, length scan. 
No, 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 no. Uh, this should be text field. Text field and then user, user underscore ID, ID equal models dot, um, hmm. How will this work? How am I going to associate a user with, okay, um, how to make relational stuff like re, yeah, relationships, yep. Import django.db models dot import car models, models dot foreign key. I think it's, it should be something, something similar to this. So it should be, I think, something like this models the foreign key manufacturer on, on DB. So if I go to Django dot dot uh, dot god uh, dot admin, I think uh, uh, Django users many to many. No, no, no. Uh, I need a one to one relationship, like some, some sort of thing. Uh, Django. How to get the user data database? I think like how to get user ID using the Django dot dot Django dot content dot auth dot models dot user. This way, the problem is the requested user that does not exist. Okay, uh, I think I get the user like that then. Is like Django dot contrib dot auth Django dot dot contrib dot auth dot um dot models uh import user so hopefully this will work yeah uh hope hopefully this will work I shouldn't put user ID because it's not gonna be an ID. If, wait, wait, if I put dot. Okay, 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 no, screw it. I'm just gonna simply put user. Then um, we make the migrations. Python, Python manage.py, make migrations. I think this should work. Make migrations, yeah. Python manage.py, migrate. All operation initial post, yep, over here. Um, I think I should uh, reload the site. Yeah, guys, and a quick... <laughs> uh, I, I do not think there should be a disclaimer, but uh, just in case, uh, th this is not a tutorial at all. Uh, me, uh, me. I'm learning mm, alongside you guys too. If I uh, all rows, check out title, body, and user and user ID. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and and if I log into the admin, actually, uh, where the hell is this? Slash admin slash. I think. Yeah, it's gonna be got uh, what's my okay? Uh, I think it's this. If it should be the same one as my previous project. Okay. Uh, Django, how to create a super user? How to create uh, how to create super user? Manage the py. Wow, like I'm really surprised that um, uh, Mozilla has a as a tutorial about Django. Now how to create how to create, create super user? Okay, create super user. Uh, Python manage.py. The music is too loud for me. Man, ma manage.py create that create create super user. Leave blank admin email address admin at gmail.com. 
password password is too short ah create user screw it yes mm -hmm. admin password oops okay uh I do remember I have to register the thing. So uh, class, okay. Um, how to Django? How to register Django? How to register model to admin? Yep. To admin panel. The admin site. Oh, okay, this is the same exact thing. Which way? Yeah, it's uh, uh, class, 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 um, post admin, I think. Post admin, admin dot model admin. Um, Wait, just wait. The admin dot register. Um, I think I should import models from dot models import post. Post admin. I, I should find this over here then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing no changes. Why is that? Admin outside dot dot register configuring configuring the list here. Uh, why isn't this working? Post post admin admin dot dot register pass post admin why isn't this working models py django py uh, do, do i have to restart my server uh, admin 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 Ah, god damn it. Why isn't this working? Post admin or model admin pass. Okay, just let me look at the previous project. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. How about go admin? This thing admin. Admin or site or register. Huh. Huh. I cannot find. So what's wrong with this thing? Admin dot py post post admin admin dot model admin post post admin admin dot register. Um, God damn it! Django cannot cannot find model in admin panel. Let's see. Try change include with your app in settings.py. Um, pretty sure that I included the thing. Let me check once again. Blog settings. <sighs> I just fucked it up. Yeah, it's there. I skip admin dot site. So ah, okay. Okay, got it. Which should be which this should work. Yes, we have it working. Uh, add post title. 
let's see body uh, this is a post and a user yep save post object one okay um, I should have like uh, I, I remember we did the same in, in the previous project which well, well in the course I guess which we did something now uh, which we went to admin and we I uh, list display and list display links yep uh, okay just let me copy these you know and I should really add um, is published but I'm too lazy to do that so search fields no list per page list uh, list editable list filter yeah I should I should I should have a list filter of user this uh this this should be an post object one this should be like a name title Hmm. Yeah, like so far, and um, user, let's say. Then this is the title. Yeah, I'm curious, it should automatically have an ID. Okay, uh, my music turned off. Why is that? No, there's not the thing that I was listening to. Continue, yeah. Okay, post.admin, the value of list display links, list filter links. Uh, where is that list display links? Hmm. I think three miles on server. List display links. There isn't any list display post. I think it's called like post display. Post display. Post display links. Post filter. Posts. System check the value of search fields must be a list or a tuple. Yeah, um, got it. Okay. Hmm. Nothing changed. If I have a Okay, if I have this be posts, will this work? No, it won't work. Hmm. Okay, um, how about I dot models from the models import model, no, import posts. Post, so, um, uh, post equal post dot objects dot all. I think this is another thing, um, and then. How about I, uh, can I simply return posts? Uh, will that work? Will return posts work? Look, localhost, no, um, yeah, this is localhost. Post object one, okay, um, how do you, so, 
I, I think if I do from uh, from JSON import JSON wait or yeah it's it's simply import JSON okay then post uh, JSON JSON data equal uh, JSON dot ah got dot zero as object to for the post post this should be JSON query set is not a JSON okay uh, how to turn okay Django add return and query set return query set with JSON okay I think I can simply just use this language right JSON response and I can simply do I can do list Object of type post is not JSON serializable like that. Object of type post is not. Okay, uh, object of type is not JSON serializable. Okay. Django of content object of type is not JSON serializable. Simple JSON JSON don't work with Django objects. So Django is built in serialized like mode. Serialized query sets fit with Django's Django objects. So if I do But, uh, but JSON response isn't working. What objects? Dot. I think I should restart my server. Object return JSON. Object of type post is not JSON serializable. So why won't something like this work? Uh, all posts, the values, dot values that you can have user ID. Now it's gonna have title, body. Ah, I think the problem is with the user object. Uh, was with the user set. I think. All posts return false. Job object type of query set is not serializable. Why the fuck is that not serializable?
So I think I can understand why um, why did they use Django as framework? Because because this is a because this is a pain in the ass to do. All posts, fields, uh, title, and body. Fields, type, title, body, and return data. Let's hope this works. Okay, we have something working. We do have something working at least right now. So if I now, I'm really curious. If I use Postman on this, will this so this isn't JSON, yeah, this is simply raw. Okay, so being a backend developer is, is a lot harder than this, I guess. It's a, lot, it's a lot harder than I than I actually thought. So, anyways, guys, this is the. F I'm I'm gonna stop it here. I I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.